the DJ that keeps the heat coming. Keeps the heat coming. This is DJ Jackson. Hi guys, I really hope you're doing great. This is Case I'm as usual, and I'm so glad that you came to my channel. Today's video is meant to shine a light on the previous tutorial which was about how to make DJ drops that sound exactly like the wig man using 11 labs and Adobe Audition. This one might be quite lengthy because I'm going to try and give you more in-depth details but please stick around and don't miss a thing. I have also included timestamps in the description of this video so please feel free to skip to your desired section of the video. Also before we get started please kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and without wasting so much time let's do it. Now to get started with 11 labs please tap the link on the description of this video and you will land on this home page. Scroll down a little bit and tap on the bottom that says get started for free. Now here we are going to sign up. You can either use your email directly or you can use your existing Google account if you already have it signed into your browser. But first you need to verify that you're human. Now I have already signed up before. It's the usual sign up steps so just fill in your email details real quick and wait for a verification link that will be sent directly into your email. Now when you open your inbox in the email you should see a message from 11 labs with a button that says verify email. If you can't locate the message you, you can check in your spam messages in the email. After clicking on the verification button in the email, you will be redirected to sign in with your email and the password to complete the verification process. After that, your email should be successfully verified. Your sign up process is done and from here you should be able to see speech synthesis on a free subscription plan. It also comes with many free voices that you can try or even use for other reasons like creating voiceovers for your YouTube videos and stuff like that. Now for our case in this tutorial we need to add our own specific voice for a DJ drop. So for you to be able to achieve a clean voice you need to have prepared a voice clip of at least one minute in length and should be very clear with no unnecessary effects or noise. And of course for more details on how to prepare a voice for cloning and understanding voice settings, I have left a link to a short course in the description below. Please check it out. I can't explain it all here for the interest of time. Now if you know that you have your voice clip already prepared, click on your profile and then come to subscription. You can scroll down a little bit to see the different subscription plans that 11 labs provide. We are going with a startup plan and by the time of this recording it is selling at one US dollar for the first month. Of course the second month they will have to charge you five dollars. You can choose a payment method that fits you and of course fill your payment details real quick and afterwards hit the subscribe button. You should then immediately be redirected to speech synthesis. Please note that you are only given a limit of 30,000 words to use for your projects. And to clone a voice, we are first going to click on this button to add a voice. I have already cloned several voices so I will just use any sample just to take you through the steps. You can add a voice by coming here to instant voice cloning and you're going to give it a name of your choice. This can be anything that you think is necessary for your voice. I can use a wig maker, wig man, part, anything. Click on the area below to import an audio or the voice clip directly from the folder in which you saved the prepared sound for cloning. You can also simply just drag and drop it from your folder and then it gets imported over here. You can clone up to 25 voices. You can as well preview it here or delete it from here if it's not the right one. Now go ahead and add a brief description of what you think your voice should sound like. Once again, this is going to be anything that you think. And I'm going to just type something here real quick. Just type anything from your mind, I mean. It 
It is also very, very necessary that you agree that you have the legal rights to use that voice. Of course, KSAM and Eleven Labs are not going to be responsible for any misuse of anybody's voice in this case. So make sure you take this part seriously. Now here is the voice that we have just added. You can use it, you can edit, or you can remove it even from here if you don't need it anymore. Now I am going to use the wig maker since it is the one that I had prepared in advance before. I just used the other one to show you the steps that you can take in importing and cloning a voice. Now here in the speech synthesis, you should be able to see the selected voice. Now for the voice settings, a specific voice might need its own specific custom settings for it to sound great. If you just make other different settings from mine, of course that means also your voice is going to sound very different from mine, yet we have cloned the same voice. Now for those that are using my own templates that I prepared before, I will always include the voice setting along with the other elements inside the folder that contain the template. In the case of this one here, the wig maker, the first volume of the template, you're going to set the stability of the voice to 100% and then you set its clarity to 30% and give it a style exaggeration of 50%. You can also try to play around with it a little bit, but of course always come back here just to see how it sounds to you. Below here in this box also make sure you select 11 Multilingual V2. You can explore the rest later, but this is the most latest version of 11 Labs and that is more versatile for DJ drops. Once again, I will be updating various voice settings for various templates and various voice presets. So please always check in the description of my latest videos to get them. Now let's take a look at how we can record a voice. In this box here, we are going to type the words that we want to use for our drop. Now let me just type a real quick one over here. Now afterwards you come down here and then click on generate. You're going to wait for a few seconds. DJ Junior on the ones and twos. After that DJ you can Junior on the it. ones and twos. And of course if it is satisfying you you can directly download it from here. Don't worry if it sounds too fast. This is just 11 labs we shall finish the rest of the processes inside Adobe Audition. Also to save your work, please locate and rename the file that you've just downloaded from here to simplify your work so that you don't lose your work because it's going to all come in 11 labs, 11 labs. That's how it's named, so it's, it's important to rename it. You can as well do all the above processes using your phone, by the way, so you shouldn't worry if you can't get the internet on your PC right away. Now let's take a look at how we can import the wig maker template. So right now I'm imagining you already have Adobe Audition installed into your PC and if you don't have yet please check the link in the description down below. I am using version 2022 so maybe you can also walk along with me and use the same version. The installation process is pretty straightforward. Then also download the template from the description of the video and extract it to your desired folder. It includes a voice that you will use to clone in 11 labs. It also has user instructions, voice settings for 11 labs, and of course the template itself. Now extract the template right here. And then copy the SESX file into this folder. See? users public public document adobe audition 22.0 if you are using this very version and of course if you are using a different version this folder might be named differently but of course it's the same thing 
Now continue to session templates and then paste the file over here. Next up is how to edit the drop. Now to get started with editing the drop inside of Adobe Audition, you will need to first launch the software in case you already have it installed. And then you will double click on this tab to import the sound that you downloaded from 11 labs. It must be in the downloads folder in case you didn't move it elsewhere. Or if you moved it, then you'll have to go to that specific folder where you had it before. You can preview the voice to make sure it is the right one that you've chosen. And also before we take this sound any far, maybe into the template that I provided, we are going to make it clear right from here where it is. So we are going to double click on the sound. Now you're also going to click on anywhere in the sound and then you will hold and drag to any direction that you want to select. And if it is selected in white, you will need to right click on the selected area and then delete it. If it is really unnecessary, you can just right click on it and then come here to delete it. You can also crop it and then make sure it is the only part that remains in case the selected area is the only area that you wanted to work on. Or you can also add silence into it when you right click on any selected part of your sound and then follow the same procedure that we did for editing. There is also silence around there. Next up, I want to show you how to fade in or fade out of your sound. Once again, select the part of your sound that you want to fade and then come up here to the favorites tab. You will see a lot of effects. We specifically need either fade in or fade out. Now I'm going to fade out. Please select only the part of the sound that you want the effects to apply to and then follow the same procedures for the rest of the effects. Once again, you can explore the rest of the effects on your own at your own time and then get creative with them. I'm only just showing you the basic ones that I really think you might necessarily want to use for now. The next effect I'm about to show you is a very, very important one and that we are going to use instead of the VST plugins that we had before. Please take two seconds and then subscribe to my channel and then leave a like in case you're still watching up to now. And thank you if you just did it. Now, as you noticed in 11 labs, the voice sounded way too fast and you may want to slow it down a little bit. We might also want to make it sound a bit deeper. So please pay some attention in this segment of the video. Make sure you're using some headphones or maybe subwoofers other than just your ordinary computer speakers. Or if you have a pair of studio monitors, then you really have a huge advantage. Now, double click on anywhere around the sound and then you should see the entire clip selected in white. Move up to effects and then navigate down to time and pitch. If a menu shows up on the right hand, then move down to the last effect, which is stretch and pitch. Now this window will pop up and then the most important part of it is stretch and pitch, this area down here. Now for my case, with the wig man's voice, I stretch the pitch to around 120%. Now what you should know is that the higher the percentage, the slower it sounds. You can adjust it to your liking and then keep reviewing it until you're satisfied with it. Now to make the sound deeper, we need to decrease the pitch to around negative 0.5 or negative 1 or negative 2 semitones depending on how it sounds to you. Once again, do it to your own liking, but my advice is please do not overdo it. If you're satisfied with the sound, then you will click on apply and then close this tab. Now let's take the sound into our template to automatically apply some of the other effects that I made before. Now what you have to do here is navigate to multi-track, then give your session a name of your choice. Also click on browse to select the folder into which you want to save your project. Now under the templates here, scroll down and locate the Wigman template 1.0 and then click on OK. If you see any sound in here that you never heard before, then that means that it is one that came with the template. So simply just click on it once and then click on this little delete button here to remove it. Make sure you only have 
your project file remaining and then you have only the sound that you downloaded and imported in here remaining. Now if it's only your sound that has remained in this area then you are going to simply hold it and then drag and drop it to this empty area to apply the edits into it. Now I already have here the effects that I made before. One is the ESA, another one is dynamic processing. Next up is speech volume level and then hard limiter. The pitch shifter that you see down here is the one that we applied together before in this video. So please do not change anything with these effects here as it may mess up your sound or your sound will sound way different from mine. You can also continue chopping your sound by clicking on the razor tool and then cutting parts of the click. You can move it around and then place it elsewhere along the track in case you want to put more style to it. You can as well delete it by just right clicking on it and then looking up here for delete. You can as well merge two or more sounds together by clicking on them each while holding down the control key on Windows or command on Mac and then you will right click on the selected area and come to merge clips. If you want to work with more effects or multiple tracks such as the background music or any other vocal effect on the sound, maybe you want to layer some other vocals below this very track that you have be here. You can simply use this scroll bar, just hold on it and then drag it down along the other tracks that you want to import to, or let's say background music. I have included all the necessary effects for different kinds of tracks down here. They include the Vox Echo effect or Vox Flanger effect. That, that, work, that applies Flanger or Echo to another layer of the vocals that you want to include here. And then music for the background music. So you can just unmute them one by one and then apply or import sound clips into them. Now for more information about how to use Adobe Audition, you can just directly go to YouTube and then search. We have a lot of tutorials there like Music Radio Creative. You can, you can just go through and then check their channel. Now if you're satisfied with your job that you feel like you're done, you can simply scroll to the area or to the end of the, the, the drop that you want to select and export. What you have to do is put this blue play marker up here and then you hold down the shift key and press on the left arrow key to select it until the entire session is selected. You're going to select the area that you want to export. And then to export it, you will come to files, down to export, and then to multi-track mix down, come on to time selection, and then you're going to give a name to your DJ drop. You can as well browse to set up the folder where you want the drop to be saved. And then you will either export it as mp3 or a WAV file. Now click on save. And then click OK. Now, after it finishes exporting, you can simply close Adobe Audition. That means your drop is done. I know it's been such a long tutorial, but I really hope it gets you prepared to make DJ drops that are cool and outstanding. And as far as the wig man style is concerned, you can always check on the description of any of my latest videos. I will be putting updates on the voice templates and presets for different voices that you might want to use. So thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like on this video if it made sense for you and then kindly share it with a friend that you really think might need to learn too. Also don't please forget to subscribe and then turn on the small notification bell for future videos. It's actually free of charge so please just take a few seconds and then do that. If you're my subscriber once again I want to say thank you for always keeping it me. Also please leave a comment down below here in case of any concern I'm going to be glad to respond. Let's meet in the next one.